The Seven Penitential Psalms The Seven Penitential Psalms are Psalm 6, Psalm 32, Psalm 38, Psalm 51, Psalm 102, Psalm 130 and Psalm 143. These Psalms express sorrow for sin and trust in God's saving help. They have long been associated with penitential devotions during Lent. They form a defense against the seven deadly sins. Each Psalm being associated with one of them. Psalm 6 against pride. Psalm 32 against greed. Psalm 38 against anger. Psalm 51 against lust. Psalm 102 against gluttony. Psalm 130 against envy. And Psalm 143 against sloth. Prayerfully reciting these psalms will help us recognize our own sinfulness, express our sorrow, and lead us to turn back to God, throwing ourselves into His loving arms and experiencing His mercy and forgiveness. Psalm 6 O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, or discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are shaking with terror. My soul also is struck with terror. While you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, save my life. Deliver me for the sake of your steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who can give you praise? I am weary with my mourning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eyes waste away because of grief. They grow weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. For the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and struck with terror. They shall turn back and in a moment be put to shame. A Reflection Psalm 6 is a defense against pride. God's response to the psalmist's entreaty in his nighttime prayer prefigures the way God responded to Christ's passion and death by raising him from the dead. We can learn from this. We are so anxious to restore our bodily health, to avoid physical death which is inevitable and is in fact the Christian's day of birth. So really, when a Christian prays to God for forgiveness, he should pray not so much to be delivered from illness and death, but to be able to come to know God, love God and praise Him in everlasting life. So let's pray together. Lord Jesus, by your resurrection, you have restored life and we have no more reason to fear any death but the immortal, undying death of turning away from you. 
Take away my pride, Lord. Forgive me my blindness. You have opened for me a death which is the door to life. The death of sin and selfishness in me. This is the blessed death of which St. John speaks in the book of Revelation 14.13 Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yes, forever henceforth, the Spirit says, they are to have rest from their labors, but the deeds they did in life go with them now. Thank you for the gift of the sacrament of reconciliation. As you have promised us in 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit.